Hey guys, Tentative here, bringing you another video today, but this one's going to be a little bit different. As you guys can see, I got the Buick trunk open, there's a door open, and all the stuff has been taken out. So it's going to be something with the motocross truck, and I will describe to you guys in a second of what it's going to be about. Go! Okay, so basically what I'm going to be doing today, now I got the garage open and you guys are facing the garage. There's my toolbox and my tool bag for work, but that's not going to be what it's about. It's going to be about the Buick behind me. Now, I'm going to walk back there to show you guys what's going on with this car. As you guys know, I fixed it and I've been out riding a lot this year. I did my first race. Actually, I did my very first race a few Fridays ago. Did okay. Got sixth overall. Wasn't it was pretty. It was it was pretty good for my first race back. But here's what I'm going to be showing you guys now. You guys can see the spare tire was mounted here, where this little black thing is. See that little this thing here. That's where the spare tire was mounted, and you guys can see I got it pinned in the back over there. So what I'm going to be doing, you guys can see I took out the. Oops. took out the bike rack because I usually put it back there and I got to take out the straps and the triangle stand also. I'm going to walk back towards my toolbox. I'm going to put my toolbox in there. I'm going to take the wheels off of it. I'm going to put my toolbox in there. I'm still not sure how it's going to be arranged but I will uh, bring you guys back when I, when I figure that out. So this is going to be like a um, a moto van, moto SUV video. Hopefully this is going to be a world's first having a, a moto SUV. So I hope this will pique your guys' interest. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I wheeled, I wheeled it over to towards my car. There it is. I wheeled it over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the wheels. And they're just mounted here. Bolts and nuts. Here, I'll take those guys off and then uh, we will proceed with trying to figure out how to get it into the into the uh, we're gonna proceed later on to how to get it into the car and have it still be spacious in the car and the trunk be able to close and all that fun stuff so I'll go ahead and uh, prop it up and you guys can see me on uh, screw all these bolts and we'll figure this out Okay, I've got all the bolts off. All the bolts are now off. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn you guys around and somehow put you so you can see the Buick. You guys are going to be able to see how I'm going to be able to put this bad boy in. So, uh, in what way I think is best, and you guys can give me suggestions on what way you think is best. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and prop this and put this bad boy in there, and we'll see what happens here. Yes, 
probably won't be able to see my face, but we'll see how this goes. All right, let's try and figure out a way to put this. Barely tall enough to get in. Wow, it won't go in there. Well, the box is a little bit taller than I had thought it was. Way taller than I thought. Way taller, way taller, way taller, way taller, way taller. Alright, now. Looks like I'm gonna have to take it apart. Looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. inhibit my vision while driving, so I'm going to have to take it apart and I'll do something. Well, that certainly wasn't the way I wanted things to go. slide it in and stand this thing up. Stupid tire. This tire is going to be a problem. Just a couple of bolts that connect it to that connect the bottom half to the top half in the toolbox. So. down to the cement, make it apart. So you gotta separate the two pieces. Alright, I gotta separate it from the two pieces, so I'll get back to you guys when I do that. <laughs> 